Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Becca's Book Nook. Today I'm going to be talking about the 22 books I was supposed to read in 2022 and how many of them I actually did read. <laughs> Twenty twenty two was a year of mood reading for me. I read seventy five books, and on my list of twenty two books that I was planning to read this year, I did only read five. <laughs> this year was really up to me reading what I wanted to read, what I was feeling was the vibe, what was connecting to my life at the moment, and just books that were going to make me happy in the current time. I am happy I did that, but at the same time, I am a little bit upset that I didn't get to some of the books that were on my list. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump into that list and we're going to talk about what I did read and why I didn't read the rest. This year, I will obviously be reading Chain of Thorns, which is her third and final installment in her Last Hours trilogy. It was supposed to come out in March, but she had to push it back to November. That video was filmed in January. It is now... December 28th and Chain of Thorns has still not come out. Cassandra Clare decided to delay her release date of Chain of Thorns. I think she needed a mental health break which is totally fine. I'm so happy that she did that if she needed that. I am a little upset that I didn't get to read Chain of Thorns this year just because I'm so used to reading a Cassandra Clare, a new Cassandra Clare book every year for like as long as I can remember. Um, but I'm so excited that it's coming out soon, I think at the end of January, so that'll probably be one of the first books that I read in the new year. Talking about Cassandra Clare, I was also supposed to finally read The Red Scrolls of Magic and the Book of the White this year, which I did not do. There's something about a little novella that I didn't want to get to, and I feel like sometimes when I'm, I, as much as I love Magnus and Alec, sometimes their stories get a little bit like, I don't know too much for me sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just remember their parts in um, Ghost of the Shadow Market were just too long. There was just too much happening. I, I got a little bored. So I do want to read them. They're on my shelf. I eventually will get to them, but I did not this year. Moving on to books that I was supposed to read by Miss Sarah J. Moss this year, I did read. A Court of Silver Flames, finally. I definitely talked about it at some point, but I did enjoy it quite a bit. I'm surprised that it took me so long to read it. Um, and I was also supposed to read Crescent City, which I got about maybe like an eighth of the way through on audiobook. And then I just had other stuff going on and I never finished it. But I was enjoying what I read. It was really, really intense right off the bat, but I do want to get back into it because so many people love it. So I will eventually, hopefully in 2023. Moving on to Miss Lee Bardugo, I was supposed to read Rule of Wolves and Ninth House, both of which I did not get to this year. Sorry, Nikolai. I did really want to read Rule of Wolves because I did like the first one, King of Scars, because I love Nikolai and I really want to see where that relationship between him and Zoya is going to go. I just didn't, I just didn't get to it. I, some of these, I just have no excuse for, to be honest. Uh, same with Ninth House. It was on my list of, even on my Instagram, my 12 books I need to read in 2022 and I just never got to it, but I want to. I think this year was just really not a year of fantasy for me. It like really wasn't. If I count up how many fantasy books this year I read, it's, it's going to be probably like max five, maybe less than that, which is kind of embarrassing for me. Then I was supposed to finish off the Car of All series by Stephanie Garber with Legendary and Finale, neither of which I did. I have them both on my shelf. I just... I just don't know. Wasn't a good year for fantasy, guys. I really don't know what to tell you. I'm in my rom-com era. Next up, we have two books that I did read, um, which are Addicted to You and Book Lovers, of course. When I hear there's a new Emily Henry book coming out, I'm gonna read it regardless. So I read that. I'm not gonna tell you where it is on my top 10 books of 2022. You'll have to see that in my next video. Uh, and then Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie was a 2.5 out of 5 star book for me. It wasn't my favorite. I'm not going to say much else on it, but I did read it and that's what matters. Next up on my list, I did have three classic books that I was supposed to read, only one of which I did read. And they were Emma, which I did read, Sense and Sensibility, both by Jane Austen, and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I... Sense and Sensibility was literally nowhere on my radar. I don't even know how that's on my list, to be honest with you. But um, 
I also tried to listen to Wuthering Heights. I read Jane Eyre instead. I listened to Jane Eyre instead. I wish I put that on my list instead. Instead. How many times can I say instead? Anyway, I didn't get to either of those. I wish I did get to Wuthering Heights. I listened to a little bit of it, but I just didn't finish it. Then I have another book that I did read, which is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I read that in February. I've mentioned it many times before. Definitely was not my favorite Colleen Hoover. Don't think the writing was very good, but you know, people love her. So to each their own, I'm glad I just read it. Then I was supposed to finish off with The Bronze Beast, which is Roshani Chokshi's series. I loved it. I loved the series. I loved Gilded Wolves and the Silvered Serpents. I don't know why I haven't read Bronze Beasts. It's finally out in paperback. I even took it out from the library and just never started it. Fantasy guy. It's not a good year for fantasy guys. I don't know what to tell you, but I'll get to it next year. I really want to finish it. I miss the characters, so I will. Then we have even more fantasy I didn't read, Spin the Dawn and Six Crimson Cranes um, by, I can't think of her name right now, but <laughs> I was supposed to read those and I didn't because fantasy. I have Spin the Dawn on my shelf and I do want to get to it. I will get to it. My goal for 2023 is just to start reading the physical books that I already have on my shelf and then, then buy new books. So it'll happen, I promise. More fantasy, I was supposed to read The Diviners. I also still wanna read that book because I was told that I would love it if I loved The Infernal Devices. I'm gonna to get to it. Last three books were more fantasy, The Dave of Bad Trilogy, City of Brass, Kingdom of Copper, and what is the last one called? Whatever, it's the third book in the series. I didn't get to them. I will eventually. So those were the 22 books that I set for myself to read this year. And as you can see from the video, I did only read five. But you know, it was a year of mood reading and I'm happy about that. So I'm just gonna cut my losses and be happy. Um, am I gonna make a list of 23 books to read in 2023? Probably. Am I gonna get to all of them? Probably not, but you know, that's what happened. So um, I'm happy with everything I read this year. I can't wait to talk about it in my yearly wrap up next week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.